Welcome back everybody. What you see in front of you is a Dell Precision T3500 workstation computer. Now, a lot of people might be uh, not familiar what a workstation is. It's a business class computer, meaning it's designed to run daily, eight, 10 hours a day, reliably, and also work for specific um, uh, production software, maybe CAD, Maya, um, Photoshop, etc. You know, this is an older model, and it's not doing any kind of like heavy work. It was purchased from a, a for a customer, and he's been using it for a while. And then, basically, what we're going to do is we're just going to upgrade it. Um, but what makes these so special? This thing is solid metal. I mean, I'm talking. This looks like plastic. It's not plastic. It's metal all the way to the front and it's perforated in the front and it's designed for quick and easy access to all the components so you see this blue uh, it looks like it's a little bracket and it has arrow facing down basically what you do is you actually just pull down in it and you have a quick release to all the DVD drives uh, the same goes with a quick release here and this is where the hard drives are actually going to go uh, so I've already moved it down it has a little as you can see, there is a, uh, uh, a swing arm here, and this is where the hard drives would go. And uh, we're going to do a quick update with a Samsung 850 EVO SSD. And you're wondering why we're going to put it in there, it's just basically what they want, okay. Uh, the quad this computer came with a Quattro uh, card, it's the 850, so 512 megs of DDR2. Uh, again. This card is specifically made and certified to run on specific software. We wouldn't go really do gaming on it. Um, but if you can swing this open, we have a chassis intrusion uh, sensor there. And you have uh, PCI slots, two of them. And you have a PCI 4X slot here. And you have a, another 16X slot right there. And you have a 16X slot so that, that's already occupied. And then another 4X on top there. And you see the cooling solution, it's supposed to be quiet. So this is a 1366 socket. It has a dual core Xenon. And of course, this is the lowest of the low uh, uh, dual core. And again, this would have been made uh, for specifically for single threaded applications because you can get the quad core Xenon, which will give you, it's basically the equivalent of the 920, the 930, 950, uh, 1366 CPUs of hyper threading. So they're basically the i7s. So you can uh, upgrade this with. Now what other, now you see here, we got Ballistics DDR3 1600 megahertz RAM running in tri-channel. Again, this can, this motherboard can do ECC or non-ECC memory. And so the biggest thing is like, how do you, you're wondering how this gets cooled. There's a fan right here. And there's a fan right here too, blowing on the memory. Um, but basically, this is what, dis uh, this is what distinguishes a lot of uh, professional computers uh, from desktop computers that you buy cons uh, on the consumer grade level. These are server grade fans. They're meant to last forever. They're huge. I can zoom in if you can see how big the fan is right there. And they're quiet too. And so, is it worth upgrading? Yeah, if you have it and it's still in working condition, uh, it's definitely worth upgrading, you know, for something that's going to be a reliable home computer. You can buy these offhand now for about $200, $300. And they're rock solid as long as the motherboard's in good shape, uh, good capacitors, no whining from uh, any of the chokes or anything like that. And if the power supply is in good shape, this power supply is a Dell power supply. Uh, I believe it outputs 650 watts and it's actually modular. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to zoom in so you can see that uh, it's a modular uh, power supply. And the computer is heavy. It's not a. This is not a joke. This thing is huge and it's heavy. A uh, quick release side panel. And again, all the perforations for good airflow. If you find one in good condition, definitely worth picking up. Um, throw in an SSD and we'll see how it performs. And that's, that's the purpose of this video too. Uh, I wanted to actually do one of these for a while. Uh, you know, upgrading a server workstation uh, to an SSD with additional one terabyte storage. So uh, I'll get to work on it. Uh, Windows 7 Professional will be installed. And we'll uh, do some basic application openings this time. Um, we we may do a, a, a Valley benchmark on this. I don't know if I will or not. Um, I guess I would just for kicks. 
but um, actually, I'm just going to, once it's all finished, I'm going to open up applications like Microsoft Word, Photoshop, and uh, things like that, just to see how uh, well it runs. So, we'll get back to it right after the, the little break here. Okay, finally got the Dell Precision T3500 rebuilt with the Samsung uh, 256 uh, gig Evo 850 and a Toshiba 1TB hard drive as a storage drive. So, um, cleaned out the system a little bit. Uh, you know, it's uh, I looked up a little bit of the, the CPU specs and the uh, potential CPU upgrades for this, uh, uh, you know, Dell Precision workstation, and they're, they're substantial. So, um, is it worth getting one of these, you know, uh, as a, uh, uh, a second-hand computer or just as a computer at home? Well, definitely, you know, if it's in good shape like this one is in, um, definitely pick it up. Uh, you do want to test the power supply. Uh, it might be a good idea to actually change the power supply on it. Otherwise, you know, these are pretty much bulletproof computers. The case is huge. It's heavy. It, it weighs, uh, it's got to weigh at least, you know, eight eight or ten no well, more than ten pounds this thing's huge uh, it's not huge but more so heavy um, what did I think about the performance um, it's a dual core 1366 processor a really weird one it's a bit faster than the core 2 dual there's no hyper threading on it um, this is uh, because it is a 1366 uh, uh, socket uh, the um, it's different because uh, uh, it got rid of uh, some of the features that were usually on the north bridge on previous uh, LG Samsung uh, motherboard, so uh, the QPI, um, and uh, let's turn it to the monitor where I have uh, a AS SSD benchmark, and this is the benchmark. So this is the sequential read and sequential write speed. So basically, bumping up, you know, to the limits of SATA 2. Uh, you can get a SATA. You can get a SATA 3 um, uh, interface on this by going directly to the PCI Express and there are plenty of those cards available too. Uh, it's not a full blown, let's say, server system, but it works pretty well. I'm the, I'm the only, I'm sorry, excuse me guys, I'm the only uh, uh, cameraman right now and I know it's at an off angle but uh, I think that you can get a, well, let's get this correct, here we go, let's get this right up and uh, I have a uh, low lighting at the shop so some of the videos are a bit grainy, please uh, forgive that, we'll figure that out or I'll find a solution that, to that one day, but I'm going to open up some basic info on the computer. So we reactivated Windows 7 Professional, and you do need Windows 7 Professional if you have more than, you know, uh, I believe it's more than 16 gigs of RAM. Windows 7 Home Premium just won't won't read it. And so let's zoom in on the. It's a Xenon dual core, uh, the W3503 uh, processor, no hyper threading, 12 gigs of RAM, and it's not ECC RAM. It's just regular DDR3. Uh, RAM from Crucial and how does it run? That's uh For basic everything everyday things such as let's say Microsoft Word So this is green word uh, 2007 Opens up pretty quick uh, Excel You know with the SSD just bang on quick like that. How about and this is the customer software their Photoshop CS3 and this is would have been around the same time or um this is Photoshop CS3 Professional, uh, the older CS3 suite, and it opens up pretty good. Um, it does see the graphics card, the Quattro card in there, Premiere Pro, uh, opening up on here. It's gonna, once you, actually once you have it open up once, it caches and then it opens up a lot quicker later on. But pretty decent. Um, and how about internet speed and such? Uh, let's, uh, and this is on the, we have it on Wi-Fi through a USB dongle, so it's definitely not the fastest. But just to give you an idea, if it can actually play something in... So we can see here, it opens up pretty quick. And we're not going to play any of these because we're going to get a YouTube strike on us. So 
It does play high definition very quickly. And uh, the CPU usage is fairly high. Uh, that's what I've noticed when we're doing, uh, when you're playing uh, an HD video on uh, YouTube. And, you know, that CPU usage may go down with a better, you know, graphics card and such, or uh, if you step up to the next uh, level processor, which you, I believe it's going to be the equivalent of the, uh, of the uh, 1366 uh, i7-920, you know, so. But, yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this sh short little video uh, rebuild, uh, repair on the Dell Precision T3500. Very heavily, you know, very hardcore computer, solid piece. And uh, if you can pick one up from dirt cheap with a quad core uh, with hyper threading, definitely do it. It's definitely worth it. Thanks for watching.